servo. All I've done is crawled this thing. Well, let's just see how it does, you know, with the messed up servo. Uh, I'm gonna go grab my selfie stick so I can film this easier. So this thing obviously is not gonna be that capable because it's literally broken already. We're gonna have to order some parts for this thing. Look at it go. Oh, can I get up this rock though? watching this tutorial on YouTube right now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out these four screws, open it up, and then fill it up with some of this clay I just bought. I guess that locks it up and uh, relieves some of the pressure whenever uh, there's pressure. So yeah, I'll take this open, clean it out, fill it with clay, and call it a day. Now I'm gonna lock it up by stuffing it with this clay. All right, I got it all sealed up. They have a little bit of movement, but really not much. So yeah, I'm gonna put this back in. This one. Oh, look at that, the dog bone isn't even in. Okay, so now I think I got, got it on pretty good. Even, even movement, it's perfect. As you can see, when I just put this thing down, I've got it held right here, it should stay, but it sinks real far. And if I push down, it's gonna stay exactly there because there's no pushback from those springs. So I'm gonna try to uh, to convince these springs to push a little bit by putting some spacers in. Hopefully this will give me a little bit more of a height standing still. Uh, and then I'm also gonna be replacing the servo, of course, because I need that to get this thing running again. And then, so first off, I got a Savox SA. Uh, 1230. Okay, so here's the Savox 1230SG. This is a very powerful motor. It's gonna do everything that I need it to do, especially when it comes down to just steering. It's definitely gonna be there for me and it'll also hopefully be able to push things out of the way when I'm crawling. I also got this Hobby Wing Quick Run uh, 1060 brushed ESC. It's waterproof. I got this because I was recommended it by a YouTuber named Budget RC. Uh, this guy actually inspired a lot of the stuff that I'm doing here. I saw, I watched his series on upgrading one of these and I definitely wanted to do it myself. Third thing is, this is not really an upgrade, but um, I got this pack of screws. You know, they're just M2 and a half screws with uh, assorted lengths because I, I need these. And then finally the big one, but it's a receiver, uh, the FSG T3B from Flysky. This was also recommended by Budget RC. All right, so here's the actual servo itself. Oh wow, and uh, so Savox actually decides to hook you up when they send their stuff out because they give you these stickers and then they give you all these little goodies, you know, mounting hardware. And then here's the servo itself. And look at that hobby wing as well. You know, I'm picking just the right brands. They sent me a pack of stickers as well. It comes with some, uh, well, it comes with actually mounting tape and the uh, heat bind, whatever, the, whatever this is called. Little pieces just pop out, and then the entire transmitter comes out with the receiver. It's an eight battery, eight double A's. Now it's time to take this whole thing apart, put in some dirty hand grease work, get this thing running again. But yeah, I'm just gonna time lapse this with my phone, so enjoy. Okay guys, so I am in, I've gotten the body off. Uh, I already put the shock spacers in, in front and back. 
that big fat one. I put that one in the back and it seems to, you know, it seems to have its spring. Hey guys, so just a little update. If anybody's following the same build or using this servo, just wanna let everybody know, when you put, especially with this type of uh, servo horn that I've put on, it's a metal one. First things first, you're definitely gonna wanna lock tight this on because if not, you could get some serious strippage out of nowhere for no reason, it's totally avoidable. And the second thing, this is probably the more important one, this little ball that goes into the socket here this little lip right here will get caught on this little cross plate above it boom right there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna file that down right there so that it can get through there smoothly so this one is more of a power supply issue because the Speed control runs one of these. I don't even know what this is called, but you know, I need it to be this. So tomorrow I'm gonna have to chop this off, put this end onto the speed control just to get power to it. As you saw, I rewired the speed control. This is harder than I thought it would be. Okay, I just had to record this because this servo is insane. Look at the speed on this. This is live, ready? That is so crazy. It is so strong. I feel like something's gonna get broken just from having this servo in. Last thing I'm gonna do is just zip tie everything. So anyways, I'm gonna put this thing back together now. <laughs> 